Right now, I feel like the fitness myth buster on YouTube. Every time I come online, I see something new, something random, some more BS. And I know this probably isn't a new one. This has probably been going around for a very, very long time. Since people started to get fat, there was this thing called appetite suppressants. Appetite suppressants, can you believe it? That humans needed to take something or invent something that stopped you eating. Just think about that for a second. The action of eating, other than you chewing and swallowing, is this. You have to physically grab something, buy something, purchase something, hunt and kill something, or whatever you had to do back in the days, cook it, or nowadays you don't even have to cook. Pick it up physically and put it in your mouth. That is it. It's so all you have to do. Stop this action. This action. Stop this. That's an appetite suppressant right there. Stop putting shit in your mouth. Now it brings me to appetite suppressants. Like, what exactly do these things do? Your brain, when you eat too much or you eat in excess, there's certain foods out there that are made in labs. We have been chemicalized so much right now. So much chemical shit going on in our brain right now. They know exactly what to put together, what chemicals to intertwine together and say this is what's going to release that dopamine in this guy's brain or this girl's brain or whatever the other one is. 50 other ones actually nowadays. And that is what we should make and we should add sugar to it, a spot into it and all sorts of other crap to keep them unhealthy. And if they're unhealthy, we can get them on the drugs. And we, Big Pharma, can provide them with the drugs to save their lives. That's like me taking somebody who can't swim, and I'm not a good swimmer, in fact, I can't swim. Taking someone like me, chucking him in the middle of the ocean and saying, do you want saving? Yes, bro, because if I don't, I'm about to die. And the same boat that chucked me in is the boat that pulls me in and they want me to be grateful for pulling them in because otherwise I'd be dying. I'd be dead. But who chucked me into the ocean in the first place? They did. Maybe that might click, maybe that won't. Now, appetite suppressants. There's so many things out there at the minute on the market. Natural, unnatural, there's all sorts of stuff. When I say natural, natural, over the counter, under the counter, so many. Do they work? Do I care if they work? That's the reality. If you are taking appetite suppressants, you are already a fat piece of shit. Simple as. You're already fat. You've already lost a life. You're mentally not capable of doing this action, but you're mentally capable of having a tablet to make you stop eating, to suppress your appetite. It's bullshit. You know it doesn't work, and those people who take appetite suppressants have used them unsuccessfully. That's all it is. But bro, listen, let me tell you this, right? Food is fuel for our bodies. That's what it is. Food is very important. We need food. Yes, we do. I'm not saying we don't. To a degree, it sharpens the mind. I mean, if you wake up in the morning and you're not hungry and you get to work, you can get a hell of a lot done on an empty stomach. If you know how to control your hunger. And if you do it long enough, every single day, you will control your hunger. We do need food to survive. Of course we need food to survive. I'm not saying don't eat food. Food is good for our body. It's good for our mind. But let's just take a sword as an example. If you sharpen a sword too much, it becomes blunt. And that's the problem with food today. You've been sharpening that sword called your body so much. It's no longer razor sharp like this. It's no longer razor sharp, bro. What's happened? Yours has become blunt and fat and unhealthy and unusable. You cannot kill with what you've got. You haven't got the tools to kill. That's why you need someone like me to tell you to stop eating. You don't need to buy something. 
You don't need to go to the pharmacy. You don't need to hire a coach and say, what supplement shall I take? Which thing is good to help suppress the appetite? Shall I get a gastric band fitted? Shall I do this? Shall I do that? Shall I smoke? Shall I drink more water? Shall I take these things to make my stomach shrink? No, you don't. Step one, step number one, other than hiring a coach, if you don't want to hire a coach, don't hire a coach. Step one, it's right here, right here. Take your top off, look yourself in the mirror, look at yourself in the mirror and think, do I look like a fat piece of shit? And if you do, comment down below, save me, because that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to come and save you. The next time you look at a piece of food and you feel like a fat piece of shit, Look at that piece of food and think, if I don't eat this food, will I die? And I can almost guarantee you if you have access to YouTube and you're watching this video right now, whether it's on your device or whatever, the answer to that question is gonna be no. I will not die. Therefore, I do not need this food. Could be anything, I don't care. You don't need to eat if you don't need it. We all want to eat at all the time to release that dopamine constantly. Boom, 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 boom. We constantly got that dopamine here. Do you know what I do? I'll give you guys a little tip. But this has taken me and my clients a long time to learn, a long time to master. It doesn't come overnight. I'm not here to slay anybody who's fat. I'm here to tell you how you can make the changes. The next time you go out and eat something to fulfill your gluttonous desires, have a little bit of it. Just to start with, just to start with, just think, do you know what? Have a little bit and then think, did it taste good? After you've had one spoonful of cake, whatever it is, did it taste good? Okay, it tasted good. Do I need more? Do I want more? Probably you want more. Do I need more? No. What would happen if I continually ate this shit? I will not feel good tomorrow. My digestion will be out of whack. My gut will be inflamed. I will look like a fat piece of shit and I'll have to do 10 hours of cardio next week just to burn that off. Mentally, I'm gonna let myself down. Why are you guys mentally letting yourself down? That's the main thing. Brings me back to the start of the video and the title of this video, Appetite Suppressants. The number one app appetite suppressant on the market in the whole world and you have access to it and you control it 24 seven. Well, maybe not 24 seven when you're sleeping. Some of you don't even control your own sleep. I do, you guys don't. I can show you how to do it. I've even shown you how to do it, but you won't do it, you won't listen. You won't listen, because all you're there is to feed your desires. You have no discipline. Majority of you have no discipline. So you need to take appetite suppressants, which they are, boy, they're bullshit. They don't exist, they're not real. There's so much chemical shit in those appetite suppressants, they're gonna do you more harm than good. You think they're gonna stop you from eating because they fill some void somewhere. They make you depressed. They make you anxious. They make you jittery. They make you they give you the shakes. You know I'm right. You know I'm 100% right what I'm saying for those people who take those appetite suppressants. And I'm not gonna name a particular one. There's many on the market. There's plenty of appetite suppressants on the market out there. Absolute garbage. Stop taking that. Hire a coach. And if you can't hire a coach, we all have a mirror. Look in the mirror and ask yourself, do I need to eat this food? Look at the plate of food, have one spoon. Say, do I need another spoonful? Do I need another cookie? Do I need another bite of chocolate? I've tasted it now, bro, it's done, it's finished. The, the whatever it was, the peer pressure, you know, I don't know, your kids are playing about, it's your, your missus's birthday, whoever, whatever it is, I don't care what it is. If you are a fat piece of shit, you need to change your life. You can't be sat there thinking, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll take some appetite suppressants, I'll take these tablets, I'll take those tablets, these will help with fat burners. I'm not even gonna get onto fat burners right now. I'm not, that's a whole nother video. I don't even wanna get into how bad fat burners are and what they actually do to you. And I'll tell you what they don't do to you, burn fat. That's what they don't do. So the next time, I've just repeated myself again, I'm not gonna repeat it again. You know what to do. No such thing as appetite suppressants. You don't need it, it's all in here. Hopefully this has given you guys some value. Comment down below, please share and subscribe.